So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Priyanka with us. So Priyanka, would you like to introduce yourselves? Hey, hi Asis. Hi everyone. So first of all, thanks for inviting me here. So I am Priyanka Kumari and uh, I am from Uttar Pradesh. And uh, I have a one year of experience as a front-end developer. And now uh, recently I joined JustPay as a SD1. So that's a short brief about me. Yes, and she's here to talk about her interview experience at JustPay. So we're going to know everything about her journey to cracking JustPay. So tell us everything, Priyanka. How did you apply? How were the rounds? How did everything go? Sure, sure. So like before three, four months, I was actively mm -hmm. applying for jobs. And uh, in between, one day, a recruiter from JustPay um, contacted me and informed me that uh, my uh, resume is shortlisted for SD role at JustPay. Then uh, he explained me the interview process. And the first round was basically an assessment round. So uh, since okay. it was a React developer role, so they had provided an assessment and uh, they told me to complete the assessment in three days. So as I had uh, past uh, experience with React, so it was not that much difficult for me. So I completed the assessment uh, within the time. And uh, after submitting the assessment, I think after 13 days, I got a call from the HR that uh, your assessment has been shortlisted and uh, now you will be moving to the next round. So the next round was basically a hackathon round. So in the hackathon, okay. there were two parts. So part A and part B. So once you clear part A, then, then only you will be able to move to the part B. So, okay. So in the part A, the interviewer came and uh, he uh, provided me a question. Like it was basically a DSA problem. So he told me to go through the problem statement. And then he asked me to um, explain the question because he wanted to understand that what I understood about the problem. Oh. So, so yeah, so I explained him whatever I understood. Then uh, he explained me that uh, there will be this much edge cases and uh, you have to mm -hmm. pass all the test cases. So um, I tried to think about the problem statement. And uh, after some time, I, uh, I, given, I had given my approach to the interviewer. Then uh, like that approach was not completely correct. Actually, it was not passing all the test cases. So he asked me to think more and um, come up with a different approach. So I took, so, uh, I took some time and uh, after a discussion with other interviewer, like he was very friendly. So whenever I got okay. stuck somewhere, he was guiding me. So after, um, after thinking and uh, discussion with the interviewer, I came up with a solution which was, uh, mm -hmm. which was uh, satisfying all the conditions. And now the interviewer was also satisfied with that solution. Hmm. So he asked me to dry run the solution first uh, with all the test cases. And uh, I did that. And after drying the um, solution, I, I implemented the whole code. So uh, like this, this round went. So in the part A, uh, this all happened. And uh, the very next day, the HR, uh, HR called me okay. and uh, she informed that uh, you have cleared the part A of hackathon. And now there will be a part B. So part B was basically the extended, extended version of part A only. The interview, okay. uh, interview had given me the same problem statement and uh, he told me to optimize it further. So, oh, okay. So he told me to think of different approach and you have to optimize it as much as you can. So like I was thinking of different approach, like uh, part B of hackathon was uh, a complete discussion round. So I was <laughs> my uh, approach to the interviewer. The interview was telling his thoughts. So after a lot of discussions, we came up with a good approach that was mm -hmm. uh, satisfying all the condition. And it was a better, uh, better approach because it, it was taking no, um, very less time and space complexity. So like uh, uh, this way, we, we were able to solve that problem. And uh, after completing that problem statement, uh, since uh, this hiring was for React developer role, so the interviewer mm -hmm. asked me some questions on React as well. 
so okay. like he asked me questions uh, like how the react work internally there were some output based question as well and uh, how react is different from other framework so uh, this type of questions he asked so like both the uh, hackathon like part a and part b uh-huh. uh, went for a complete day like it started at uh, 11 am in the morning and uh, it lasts for 7 pm in the evening damn so it was very long process yeah yeah so after um, after this hackathon i think after a week i got a call from hr again that you have uh-huh. the part a and part b of hackathon and now there will be a technical round so the technical round was uh, was for 1 hour and um, and the round started like uh, the interviewer came and he started with my resume so he he asked me about my past work experience he asked me about my project which i mentioned in my resume mm-hmm. so um, so uh, actually i had done many projects in my past experience and uh, i explained me about um, i explained him about different um, projects mm-hmm. i explained him like how i created a common component that is extended extendable to use in our entire code base in my previous work experience i had worked on many mm-hmm. projects so uh, one was there like i created um, i was a react developer so mm-hmm. created many common components so that it can be used everywhere in our code base so uh, with this approach the interviewer was very happy and then i explained him that how i acquired the uh, container and presentational pattern in our code base to make our code base more modular so uh, by listening these things uh, he was very happy that you know as a as a fresher you know these things it is very good <laughs> and uh, and uh, after this uh, he asked me some more questions on my resume so after resume he uh, started ask me asking me questions on javascript so in okay. javascript uh, he he is asked questions on many topics like closure recurring and how let var and const are different and uh, then he asked me to implement a, a small task in javascript as well so this was all about javascript questions then after javascript questions he asked me questions on react so in react mm-hmm. he was not uh, asking any theoretical questions he he asked how you will optimize your, optimize the performance of your web page how will you reduce the initial load time of your web page and then he asked about higher order components and uh, there were many uh, more follow up questions so uh, like this uh, this round was uh, mainly focus on how you know the technology you have been worked hmm. on previously how you know yes. the projects well like whatever you have worked on how much you know so hmm. like this uh, this round went <coughs> and uh, at the end i asked my feedback from the interviewer and uh, it was quite positive but uh, still uh, like uh, i was anxious that uh, if i'll get it or not hmm. then uh, after two weeks of waiting i again got a call from hr that i have cleared all the rounds and now i am selected as a sd1 at just pay so it makes me feel amazing and uh, <laughs> like uh, it was a very long process and it took yeah. a lot of hard work and um, and um, like um, i was hmm. in from the very uh, very long time and now i got the opportunity and i cracked it so i was very happy to crack it hmm. so that's all hmm. my ex- interview experience yeah that's very nice and it's very amazing also you know how you were able to crack so many rounds especially the hackathons like you mentioned it pretty much went on for the entire day right yeah yeah so in the hackathons that you were having there was also dsa involved in it right along with uh, react and javascript questions so like what was the dsa question like or what was the difficulty of the dsa question that you had faced yeah so the questions were, uh, was based on tree and uh, the okay. focus of interviewer was how you are approaching the problem he he will be not satisfied if you are not explaining him the things clearly Hmm. so yes. be clear about all the things like uh, time complexity space complexity your uh, thought process everything he will be judging on and uh, hmm. in the mid he asked me to derive uh, the relationship between height of the tree and uh, um, the <laughs> nodes 
so you yeah. be uh, you should be uh, uh, like you should be doing uh, very depth hmm. whatever you are doing you should yes. be uh, doing it very uh, depth so this is the thing hmm yes yes so basically the entire focus of the interview was at javascript your react js roles resume and a little bit of dsa along with that right uh, dsa will be there in hackathon but it will be uh, more advanced you should uh, hmm, high level and, yeah you should be uh, confident with your uh, topics like tree graph array time hmm. complexity space complexity so dsa is very important to crack uh, the spam hmm, for hmm. the hackathon round hmm yes 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 so you know like let's uh, talk about your preparation strategy for this interview because like you said you have a good level of dsa you have a good level of the front end stuff also so how did you prepare to come to a level that you can crack this from all or these rounds yeah so as i said like i was actively uh, applying for different jobs and from the month of january itself i was searching for mm-hmm. a job I, i was giving many interviews so uh, like one thing i prepared like uh, you should do at least two questions regularly hmm. so i was um, i was uh, doing two dsa questions on lead code regularly and um, you should uh, be confident about whatever tech you are including in your resume so hmm. let's say i am i have included the, uh, react to uh, javascript type script so you hmm. should know them internally how the things work internally not just the theoretical concept Mm, so yes these are the things which uh, like i prepared so um, while preparing for any interview you should uh, uh, you should first know the process if you are applying for any companies you should first go through the company's past experience so you should be aware of their pattern because different companies have different pattern and uh, let's say um, in jaspe they are asking uh, they are asking questions on uh, deep level questions on dsa as well as development but there are many companies they, they will not ask uh, the, um, more dsa questions they will be focusing on machine coding round if you are a react developer front end developer so it depends on the um, com- uh, company so before uh, going to any interview you should always uh, uh, you should always go through their past interview experience and prepare accordingly sorry can you come again yes yes yeah and uh, uh, as i am a react developer so um, like uh, as a react developer i prepared a lot in react in my preparation journey i followed many um, many resources one of the most uh, um, good resource i will say that was uh, akshay saini so i followed his uh, react course and javascript course as well it helped me a mm-hmm. lot it helped me to understand the react uh, internally how the things work uh, internally in react so this was a very good resource for me and apart from this if you are a react developer or front end developer you should focus on mm-hmm. coding round like uh, you mm-hmm. should focus on implementing the things like let's say you have any uh, if you have any task small task you are implementing mm-hmm. the task you should think about uh, their uh, optimized way you should not just code hmm. you should think about the file structure you are writing you should think about how you can make the code more reuse- reusable hmm. because uh, uh, because uh, if you will go to work in a large based company you should follow some approach like uh, you can follow a um, modular approach in your code base so these are all the things you should um, keep in mind and about dsa i will say that uh, uh, always do two three questions from lead code and hmm. try to give the contest uh, every week it will be very helpful and uh, and whatever you are uh, while preparation one major thing is whatever you are doing uh, whatever you are studying let's say you are um, you are implementing any question you should think loud uh-huh. because it will help in your interview as well because in the interview the interviewer wants you to be louder whatever you are thinking hmm. you should you should tell them so that they will understand yes. your thought process so hmm, hmm, hmm. it's uh, the thing you can prepare i prepare uh, like this only hmm. right right and many times even the thought process is more important than you know even coming up with the right approach right 
if your thought process is fine you're putting it out the right way the interviewer will also help you like you said right 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 they help in the between all right okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about priyanka's journey to jaspay and the interview experience of jaspay if anyone still has any doubt then i'll give priyanka's linkedin in the description you guys can follow her from there connect with her from there so thanks a lot priyanka for coming on my channel and sharing your journey i hope it will help a lot of students thank you thank you thanks a lot to inviting me here